Hi, this is Lara at Elliott Wave Stock Market with a free Dow analysis for you for the trading session dated Tuesday 26th of April. And I'm recording this video now, nearly 10pm in the evening New York time on Tuesday the 26th, well after markets have closed. This is my main wave count for the Dow on a daily chart and I'm expecting we're getting towards the end of a zigzag for primary wave 2. Wave C at black or intermediate degree within this zigzag is unfolding as a simple 5 wave impulse and we're in the fifth wave of that which is also unfolding as a five wave impulse. So we have one, two, three, four and within wave five blue we have one, two, we need the end to three pink, four pink and five pink will end this whole structure. My previous calculator target is now reached and it seems a bit low because the structure for wave five at blue or minor degree must unfold as a five and so far it's only looking like a three. So I've recalculated the target at 13,072.46 points. Wave 5 blue, starting here, will reach 0.618, the length of wave 3 blue. Wave C is already past 0.618, the length of A. Were it to reach equality with A, that would take price above the invalidation point. It may get pretty close to this invalidation point. That may be achieved for wave C to reach as close to equality as possible with wave A. When we get up to this next target that I have calculated, again if the structure requires further upwards movement to complete it, I will recalculate the target. At this stage any second wave correction within this third wave at pink or minute degree may not move beyond the start of it. This wave count is invalidated with movement below 12,093.89 points. In a little while we're going to be expecting a fourth wave correction which will show up as a big downward structure on the daily chart here and at that stage it may not move into this wave 1 price territory so shortly we'll expect price to remain above this price point while it continues on upwards. Any further downwards corrections should provide strong support at the lower edge of this big wide blue parallel channel here on the daily chart and eventually when we see a full candlestick below this channel on the daily chart that's when we'll have trend channel confirmation of this big trend change at primary degree. Taking you now to the hourly chart where the low for two pink down here is this point down here. Within this third wave at pink or minute degree we have one, two, three, four, five wave structure for the first wave. A very brief shallow little second wave correction, I really was expecting this one to take longer and move deeper. And now within wave 3 green we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, the first 5 wave structure, wave 1 orange within 3 green. We may expect a little second wave correction, it may get down to the 0.618 Fibonacci ratio of this first wave here that it's correcting at 12,509.89. Or it may be really brief and shallow, like this one was in relation to its first wave. That's possible because we're in the middle of a third wave here. The target for the next little upwards piece of movement to end is, is 12,858.22 points. That's where wave 3 green, starting here, moving on upwards, will reach equality with wave 1 green. So that would be the end to... 3, 4, 5 on upwards and this target's probably going to take at least a couple of days if not a week and a half or so to complete. This wave count is invalidated with movement below 12,446.05 points because wave 2 orange may not move beyond the start of wave 1. Within wave 1 orange here Wave 3 purple here has no Fibonacci ratio to wave 1, but wave 5 purple is 5.44 points short of equality with wave 1. This third wave is longer than 1.618 the length of 1, but it's not close enough to say that that's a Fibonacci ratio between them. Within wave 1 green here, this third wave orange degree is 22.48 points longer than 1.618 the length of the first wave and the fifth wave has no Fibonacci ratio to either 3 or 1. If we move the degree of labelling for this most recent movement here all up one degree and we have this situation, we may have had an end to the middle of the third wave. This is less likely than the main hourly wave count but it certainly is a valid possibility that we have to consider. We're expecting a little bit of downwards movement for both of these hourly wave counts and the depth of this downwards movement 
may illuminate which of these two is correct, but if it remains above this price point, both of them will remain correct and we'll have to run them alongside each other. This alternate hourly wave count expects the correction to be more likely more shallow than the main. And at 12,575.69 points, wave 4 green will have corrected to about the fourth wave of one lesser degree, pretty common place for it to end. And then we'll be expecting only one more upwards wave, so this would be seeing a closer and sooner end to this third wave at pink degree. At 12,982.41 points, that's where wave 3 pink beginning down here will reach equality with wave 1 pink, its orthodox length. So this wave count sees a closer end, a sooner end to this third wave at pink degree. And then when that's over, we'll have a fourth wave at pink degree that may not move into this wave price territory below this point. So both of my hourly wave counts are expecting at least a little bit of downwards movement to start tomorrow's session, and both of them thereafter expect their upwards trend to resume. Looking at it on the daily chart level, there's still a fair way more upwards to go for the Dow before we have a satisfactory wave structure, and before it may be possible that we're at a trend change at primary degree. That's still probably weeks away yet. That's all for me today with your Dow analysis, and I hope that everyone else is having a fabulous day.